For some time now, Kenya Airways has been actively engaged in the expansion of routes in an effort to boost trade in the region. This has seen the national carrier expand operations in a number of regions with the latest being a new direct cargo route between Nairobi and Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates. Flagging off our Sharjah route, Nairobi Sharjah, Nairobi to the rest of Africa. This is a freighter. We have a brand new 737-800 freighter. So the reason why this is happening is that we're flagging off this route. We want to increase our traffic, our cargo traffic into, into UAE, into Sharjah, UAE, and actually the larger Middle East region, and then back the other way as well into East Africa and then the larger Africa region. Sharjah as, a, as an airport is developing into a specialized cargo airport. And not just that, it's easier to do business in Sharjah because it's smaller, it's more niche, and the people are more accessible. So operations in Sharjah tend to be a lot more smoother. In addition, there's a lot of activity in Sharjah as well, so you get a lot of consolidation of cargo, uh, but not just to Sharjah, but also out of Sharjah. The route will see four direct weekly flights between Kenya and UAE, strengthening relations between the two countries. The route has already been in operation for about a month now. We think it is quite significant for us. And so for us to do that, obviously the first is to make sure that the route is viable. So we are carrying cargo, so we did some tests back and forth. The operations team need to make sure that they are coordinating with uh, the, the team here in Sharjah at the airport get all the passes and clearances. We had the opportunity to have the chairman and the director general of the airport grace this occasion, so make sure that they're invited. The embassy, Kenyan embassy also was represented here, so that was significant, so get them invited here as well. And make sure that um, the communications team uh, and all that goes with it is also aligned. Cargo it represents about 10% of our business today. We want it to move ever so closely towards 20%, initially maybe 16% of the business in the next five years. So what that means is that you have to have new routes, you have, to new, you have new equipment and capacity. So this particular aircraft is additional capacity and in itself it's quite significant. We have additional capacity coming in end of March which will uh, double our capacity in one uh, shot. And in fact, you know, the discussions that we've had here in Sharjah suggests that this is going to be a significant route for both the current uh, new freighter and the new one that is coming in. The new route is poised to not only benefit the two countries, but also the regions. If we fly into Sharjah, like we are doing now, there's extensions as well from Sharjah into maybe into the Far East, into India, Pakistan, into Saudi and other Middle East countries. And then once they fly into Nairobi, we can also distribute to other neighboring countries, including Somalia, including uh, Juba, Djibouti, and so on and so forth. Our mission is really about the prosperity of the African continent. So we contribute significantly to economies in Africa in particular, of course, also around the world. And so within our mission is this is, is cargo. How do we make trade possible for Kenya and for Africa? And this is one way of doing it, to make sure that goods are getting to the places they're getting fresh, in the case they're fresh produce, or in time, in the case they're general cargo. So for us is to announce to the world that we're here to help Africa prosper through the way we do our markets, through the way we do our culture, through the way we do our trade. And so ask all people to join with us and uh, with this excitement, with this exciting uh, opportunity that we have to continue serving Africa.